Now, to do this when the system is completely dry, you need to disconnect the suction control valve on the um, on the fuel pump. And it is that brown connector down there. If I can get my hand in there. That, disconnect that. That green one there is your fuel temperature sensor. And that brown one is your suction control valve. And what that will do, when it's disconnected, it will default to wide open and it will demand maximum fuel pressure. But what it will do, when the engine starts, it will knock its bollocks off. So as soon as it starts, you need to turn the engine off, plug that back in, start it back up again. And then on top of this, now this might be a problem because the back of the car is facing down here, but we'll give it a go. You have to twist this and then pump it. What I might end up having to do is to come out with, with a, a sucker and suck the fuel up on this pipe, but we'll see if we can do it off of this thing now. And these are a pain in the arse. I'm have to get grips on it. Right, so we need to twist this thing. No, and it's, it's, it's all locked up, it's not working. Absolutely fucking rubbish way of bleeding the fuel system. So what I'm gonna have to do, I can't undo that because it's turning the whole thing. I'm going to have to put an airline on it and suck the uh, fuel up. Right, these diesel up to the filter now. Filter's full, so let's see if she'll uh, suck it through to the pump now and uh, and fire up. Plug that IMV back in now. All right, let's try them again. Running a bit shit, isn't it? It sounds like there's still air in the fuel. So she's running mint now. 